Okay, so I was at this random dirt yard in Ohio and I was going to drop off a load, which is a fully loaded trailer, and then I was going to pick up a totally new trailer and then I was going to head to my destination. And I had Pepper with me. So the goal was I was going to take use of having this empty dirt lot and I was going to allow Pepper to free roam with me while I went ahead and continued on my swapping out trailers. Now, generally, I wouldn't do this unless I knew that it was just me and me alone because I don't like for Pepper to be around moving vehicles or anything like extra people because I don't want her to be distracted. What I tend to try to do is I've been trying to teach her how to follow me without being on the leash just because I don't always want to pull out my leash and I feel like that's just a great thing to teach your dog so... We finally get to this dirt lot and I let her out the truck. We were walking and I went ahead, unhooked from one trailer. Then I got back in the truck with her, pulled to the next trailer, pulled her back out. We got out. I was hooking to this trailer and she just started acting weird. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure out why. Now, Again, this was an empty dirt lot. There wasn't anybody to drive her up a wall. There wasn't any loud noises, nothing. Now, I told you guys earlier when I first got her that she typically does not like to be outside. In the beginning, she would jump on me, try to get me to pick her up and take her with me. Like she wouldn't want to walk or run by herself. She would always eventually want me to pick her up. She would just be over it when it came to being outside. And so I've been trying to grow her out of that. And so when we got out here, she had already been like slowly but surely getting more used to being outside without me picking her up. However, this time around, she started reverting back to her old ways like immediately where she had only been outside for like one or two minutes roaming before she started like jumping on my leg trying to get me to pick her up. And it confused me. I'm like, what? what's wrong, Pepper? If you hear like rumbling in the background, it's the dogs in the house. But um, so we're walking around and I'm like, okay, well, since she's acting funny, I'ma just go ahead and sprint real fast, get her some exercise in, cause I know if I run, she's gonna run behind me. So I'm like, let me just get her some exercise in. So I sprint real fast, right? I sprint, she is like beating me at this point. Now, normally when I sprint, she's like, you know, ha 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 ha, she's running behind me with her ears flapping. No, she's running like she is running from something. So I'm like, okay, Pepper, what's wrong? Like I turn and I look behind us and I don't see anything. So I'm super confused. I'm like, okay, I don't wanna take the way she's acting for granted, but she is totally acting different and I don't see why. So I'm like, all right, Pepper, well, since we sprinted all the way over here, I'm done hooking up this trailer. We're just gonna walk back to this trailer and I'm gonna let you in the truck, right? So I start walking back towards the truck, right? I'm parked where a bunch of trailers are. I'm picking up one specific trailer, but it's a row of trailers that I'm like in the middle of. I start walking towards this truck and Pepper's like on my heels, like practically trying to jump on me as I'm walking towards this truck. And <laughs> in retrospect, I'm like, man, I should have just like really paid attention and, and not took this for granted. But so we get... I, I would say like halfway to the truck when all of a sudden I hear this loud boom and it didn't sound like I would have to question what it was when I tell you I already knew the sound that I heard it sound like something huge landed on the top of one of these trailers now mind you I'm by myself with a 10 pound dog in a dirt yard and no other sound but this big old boom sound like a 200 pound human that hit the back and the top of a trailer. When I tell you all the blood like left my body, I'm like, what the heck? When I tell you I grabbed Pepper so quick, 
I grabbed her and we got in the truck so fast. And the worst part is I wasn't even concerned for myself. Now, that says a lot because, you know, being a dog mom is is now showing me a lot about myself. I was more so concerned about her because I could only imagine what big old bird or whatever then jumped on the back of this trailer ready to fly Pepper away. And I was just imagining the worst scenarios. Like, how am I about to fight off this big old talon having bird? Like, I'm freaking out all all while running with Pepper in my arms. She's yelping at this point because she knows there's a huge predator on the prowl. Like, I am going to this truck with all types of scenarios running through my head. And the scariest part about it is I never saw what it was. I heard it. And never saw what it was. So this is just a reminder to you guys. I want to tell you guys right now. If you have a dog or you're thinking about having a dog, make sure it's either a big bully or you keep that little dog inside. Unless it's a it's 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 an area where there aren't many like desert animals. Because if you're in a, like a, a dirt yard, be careful, okay? Because you will turn around and it'll be a huge bird flying your dog away. That really freaked me out. But I just wanted to tell you guys this because, my gosh, (laughs) I was freaking out. But um, let me know in the comments, have you run into a situation similar to this? It doesn't even have to be related to trucking. But you, especially the dog moms and dads who have extra small little puppies, toy puppies, have you had a scenario where a bigger animal, it doesn't even have to be a dog, it could be anything, where a bigger animal was on the prowl of your little dog and how did you handle the situation (laughs) let me know in the comments below but i love you all so much be uh stay tuned to the next video because it will be dropping shortly but i just had to tell this story because in the last video i definitely said that i had a story and i completely forgot to explain it to you guys but um i love you all so much and i cannot wait to see you in the next video